Hello and welcome to the Race Sports Car Championship here at Blue Moon Bay Speedway for the third sprint race here in Division 1. We've got the same grid as we've had for the two previous races based off of the original 10 minute qualifying session. So let's have a quick rundown. So on pole position is the Brit Scanny Flick with second place being Bradders V who's already won the first two races here today. In third place is championship leader Urb Kito with fourth place being Ross 21. In 5th place in the foreground is Mr. Mickey Aramatko, with 6th place being Charlie Fraser 4. 7th place is Snake96, with 8th place being Samios. 9th place is Yesmate GT, and then 10th place here is Sig Rezaniko, who will hope to have a better race than he had last time out. So we start here at Blue Moon Bay. Just uh, a point that in, in the first two races, a pack formed early on in the second half um, of the grid. Will the same happen again? We shall see. But it's boogity 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 here at Blue Moon Bay Speedway as Scanny and Brothers V there just behind pull away. This run down into turn one is crucial and then the exit and the speed that you can carry through are really going to set the tone for the rest of this race. So you can see that Brothers V using 5th gear, meanwhile Herb Keto in behind, revving in 4th gear very heavily. And we'll close up here on the two Brits. 4th place was Ross, who doesn't have as much speed as the Italian. And then further back, it does seem like a bit of a gap is forming already here with Samios and Snake. Snake just has a little bit more speed there coming out of turn 1, but if we go back towards the lead, and uh, Herb Keto here on the outside of Scanny Flick. Meanwhile, Bradersby is now going to work with Scanny Flick to try and keep himself in second. And you can see that Bradersby out the and Scanny Flick working very well, very, very well to stay in first and second. But Paquito getting a little bump there from Ross. So Paquito still on the outside will try to carry the speed around the outside here at turn one. And I think on the high line, he might make it ahead of Scanny Flick, who no manages to cover off. But as Paquito now switches to the inside. Oh, bit of contact there with the side pod. But Pagizo might have to fall back in line, but now as they approach the banking at turn two, Pagito will move into the lead, it seems. But Bradders V is going to try and stop that by bumping Scanny Flick into turn three. We've got Matko there, also fighting in the grey and black car, and he's on the inside of Bradders V. And meanwhile, Ross has now moved up into third place, and Matko is falling into line. Charlie Fraser here in sixth place is now going to form two free car lines. We've actually got the three British drivers along with the three Europeans there. Seventh place there in the blue car is Snake and then if we just go further behind we can see that yes mate Samios and Sig have dropped off already there all the way at turn one on the opening lap. Back in the lead and Scanny Flick has fallen out of line he might drop but no Charlie Fraser working very well with him and we'll give him a fantastic bump and if we go on board but well, he gave him a bump originally but snuck on the inside and that is going to of course Scanny Flick to drop from the lead all the way down to 4th, 5th, 6th and maybe even 7th if Snake can pull along. We've got Ross in the rearview mirror which it, you can see and uh, Bradersby, Charlie and Paquito bumping each other there. And Matko giving a great bump to Charlie Fraser, who suddenly gains 5 miles per hour, who can now pass on that speed to Bradersby, who then gets a little bit more momentum going into turn 1 to stay with Paquito. Ross on the inside, Bradersby right down towards the apron, getting a fantastic run, closing on Paquito and pulling away from Charlie and Ross here. And you can see the three cars there at the back trying to work together, and if these cars continue to fight, then maybe Yes Mate Sig and Sammy can close back in. But there's a breakaway forming here. Top two, Bradders and Paquito, who have been up front for the entire uh, free races here at Blue Moon Bay. If they can just work together for another lap, maybe they can get uh, away. But Charlie Fraser and Ross will want to stop that. So let's go on board, sorry, with Ross and see if that can continue. But no, if anything, I think that maybe the chance has been wasted. We see they're fighting for the lead, meaning that that any breakaway chance has lost Paquito on the inside with Bradersby on the outside getting a fantastic push from the Scottish driver Charlie Fraser right around the outside oh and there's contact and Paquito forcing Bradersby 
almost into the wall. But he is on his own as the rest of them are all in a single car line. Matko actually dropping back a bit. Let's just go and see. Not really too sure how he's fallen back. But that is unfortunate for him and not at all what he would have wanted. Yes, again, it does seem as if Charlie's going to be pushing the back of Brad's V here. And you can just see that, that snake is working with him. That's a fantastic free car trade. And that the all in. Look at that. That see that teamwork from the three of them has moved him into first, second, and third. Ross join, joining in on the action into fourth. And that was fantastic stuff. Let's catch a Wolf Cola sponsored replay of this action. So, so Paquito was leading, but let's go back all the way um, to Snake. We're on board with him now behind Ross. Paquito leading. And as we go through turn five, Charlie and Bradders decide to stay on the high side. Excellent stuff from the both of them. Paquito unable to close the gap there due to the banking. And Snake doing an excellent job to work with these two, pushing them along. You'll see that with the sip trim, a slight bump there, which bumps Charlie into Bradders. And then the top three have swatched. And then with Ross teaming up, Paquito moved up into fourth. That, that is the wonders of bump drafting shown there. Matko is now being hunted by the uh, car at the back, but that will now mean that there's a pack of four which might just help them out. Scanny Flick is actually falling back into that as well, so maybe turn one is his downfall so far. And you can see that currently Charlie Fraser does have the fastest lap of the race. He has been in the slipstream for quite a lot, especially working with Brad Lee these last couple of laps. And yet again, they're on the high side in turn three. And they're going to pull away. This time they don't have Snake to help them. And meanwhile, Ross is being helped by Paquito and Snake. So Snake now being a little bit of a traitor. But as they go into turn one, Bradley will stay in the lead. Charlie Fraser moves and will be in second into turn one yet again. So that is excellent stuff from the both of them to move from the mid pack to the front pack with Paquito falling down these last couple of laps. Scanny Flick has managed to rejoin this pack. We just can look a bit behind and just see how yes mate, Matko, Sig and Sammy, well maybe not Sammy right now, but the three of them anyway were working together well, straying in a single file. They're doing high 52s which is certainly a very good pace, but Sammy, yeah, just about being dragged along. But this is good, good pace from Sig. And they are closing by a couple of tenths here on Bradders and the like. So. You can see that maybe there is about a three second gap right now, but there's still 15 laps to go. And if they keep gaining these few tenths, eventually they'll be within a second. And as soon as they get within a second, they'll have so much more slip through. And we got Charlie Fraser on the outside because Paquito's got a fantastic run through turn one after having some help on the main straight. However, doesn't have the full momentum as Charlie stays in second and will be looking to work again with Brothers Lee. Scanny on his own there, on the outside, no one to get slipstream off and no one bumping at him. Oh, and almost forced into the wall, maybe he was actually properly forced into the wall. Let's just go on board and you can see that these two on the outside have been continuing to use the high line. Oh, but we've got a free car train who have excelled. And if that free car train is surely going to be out the two car train with three people helping to bump along and I think this might be the end of the road for Bradersby and Charlie Fraser to keep the lead but we've got Ross in the, on the inside. Is Ross going to hit anyone? No but uh, Paquito making a side by side uh, contact with Bradersby but stays ahead for now taking the lead. But as these cars fight if we just look at the lap time behind well they're not falling much further back that is for certain. And Bradersby and all of that has actually dropped down to four. He must have fallen out of line. Charlie Fraser is now working against the Italians, it seems. Or maybe he's working with the snake ends up. Almost in the wall and almost into Bradders. And Ross is making it three wide as they exit the turn. And this is the fighting which that pack two needs. These have been incredibly incoherent this last lap. 
and that's 53-6 from Snake. Meanwhile, Brothersby, who was leading, is a 33-6 as well. Pikito is now in the lead, is a 33-4. If we to compare that with the second pack, 33-2, 33-1. That's another couple of tenths gained from them. But they're still battling it out, and we've got Scanny on the inside on his own. He doesn't get any slipstream there. Meanwhile, Charlie Fraser needs a little bit of a bump for Bradus V to keep him alongside Ross. Snake is now going to try and make his way to the back of the Irish Rover. And Scanny is now joining in in the free car British train. Ross moving to the outside along with Paquito, but Paquito moves to the inside. That will help out Snake, who actually for a moment was on his own. Excellent stuff here, and you can see the bump. You can see the bump drafting really helping the Italians there into turn one, which will allow Piquito to fight Ross into turn one. Meanwhile, Scanny yet again stuck on the out, uh, stuck on his own on the inside. Charlie and Brad just working together. You can see the extra boost there, which Charlie got, which then helped Ross propel himself into the lead and getting in line with Piquito. But as soon as he got in line, that has now stopped Charlie Fraser again. That slipstream, so Charlie's now having to uh, settle into line, so yeah, Ross not really rewarding Brothers and Charlie for the favour and the bump drafting there. If Ross had continued on the outside that would have allowed Charlie and Brothers to get a bit more of a slipstream, but instead they had to work and just go into a single file line. Uh, if we just look further back we can see that yeah this gap is closed, they're, this gap they're only maybe 8 tenths, maybe 1.5 seconds back. And they are still single fire with Matco and Yes Mate leading the way. Oh, but that's going to cost them as they actually fight. Um, but no, it's okay because Matco only takes the lead. And Yes Mate slots in just in front of the healthcare SIG car. And we've got a couple of lines here. It's only three lines almost. A snake stuck in the middle. Ross working with Brad, as it seems. And actually, Brothers has really lost some momentum there. You can see there's actually quite a big gap forming here. Maybe there was contest. Um, bit strange for him to lose so much time. Let's just catch a replay. I want to just see, was there any contact? So as you just look here, we can see that Snake and Oh, you can see there that um, I think that's actually Charlie and Ross making contact, and then as that happened, Bradders V lost a solid 10 miles per hour, loses momentum through turn three. That's going to be bad news for him, but that's perfect for Yes Mate and Mako. Well, it would be perfect for them if they weren't side by side right at the exact moment, but the gap is closing. They really need to work together. This is the only opportunity they might have. Bredesby falling back into place there after losing that small amount of speed and following Ross, but Ross almost uh, almost stopping Bredesby getting into line, but just enough speed for him to slot in ahead of Scanny Flick. But Paquito leading with Charlie Fraser second, Ross third, Bredesby fourth, Scanny Flick fifth, and Snake sixth. For me, while Matt Cohen, yes, mate, are still fighting. And this is not working out for Pack 2. If they were working together, they could have been close enough by now, especially when Brothers lost some time. You can see Scanny, I think, is actually stuck on the inside. Seems to be a recurring trait. Not sliding into place until the last second. And that needs to be on board with Scanny here. You can see he's on the outside. There's a big incident with Snake. I sent him into the wall. Scanny is getting some slipstream from Brothers and Charlie. Mm. And Ross is now the one who is being hung out to dry a little bit. Bransby and Charlie, who we saw doing a lot of teamwork in the first half of this race, and yeah, again doing teamwork, but Charlie Fraser moving over. 
mm, almost giving Snake some chip steam, but he stays on the outside behind Paquito, who now goes to the inside to help Snake out. Because that will give Snake a little bit of boost into turn one and it allows Snake to maybe do a bit. Oh, there was a was that an incident? Oh, it's side by side, and let's just get a replay of that. So we're going to actually go on board. Well. I don't know who to go on board with. Let's actually go on board at the back of the field with Ross. Well, at the back of the pack, I should say. So there's contact between Snake and Brunswick, and then Scanny ends up making contact with the rest of them. And that has caused them to go four wide on the exit of the turn, meaning that none of these drivers are getting substantial slipstream. And I think Yes Mate has joined in. Look at this extra speed that they finally got. They did a 52.6 last lap around. That's the exact pace they needed. And with these two, uh, with the rest of the pack, having that big frustrating incident at turn one, we have finally got a 10 car pack fighting for the win. Any one of these 10 drivers could now win this race for sure. As Yes Mate joins, Sig joins, Matko and Sammy. Scanny was on his own, but Yes Mate is going to work. Oh no! Oh, for a moment, Yes Mate was going to work with Scanny, but Yes Mate going from seven all the way down the inside and oh, hits Scanny, and Ross has ended up almost in the wall on the exit. Bradders has dropped to seventh. Scanny dropped to eighth, and actually Bradders might drop down all the way down to ninth or maybe even tenth. Sig in the healthcare car, almost hitting Sammy. And they go towards the inside. We can see Sig here. Oh, they just finally caught a pack one, but Sammy's in the wall. Disaster for the American driver. Let's catch a replay of that um, from... Actually, that is perfect. So you can see here, Sig turns towards turn two, maybe a little bit too late. He's in the second lane, and the Sammy wanted to go for the left turn two as well. They've made contact with the rear of Sammy's car and that sent him headfirst into the barrier. Really unfortunate for him and that might actually drop Sig away due to the lost momentum. Back up front and Charlie and Paquita working well. Charlie really has been the main person to work with people today. Uh, Rost going for the inside on his own. Oh, and there was an incident, I think, between Snake and Charlie, but Charlie stays in second place. And Ross, you can see there, because he was on his own in turn one, he's had to fall and drop into fourth, being pushed by Yes Mate now. And Snake gets the good run out of turn one and Paquito helps him out. Paquito actually moves away from the outside towards the inside to get that bump from Snake. Meanwhile, it's now Charlie, uh, Yes Mate and Ross on the outside. Paquito leaving Snake stuck on the inside, being a traitor to his own friend there. And that might mean that Charlie will get the good run out of the corner. Yes, he will. And Snake now has no slipstream to help him. And Bradders V, well, Bradders V did get a good run through turn one. And then as Scanny approached, Scanny has just gone to the inside. Has Scanny got the full run? Well, no, there's no one to really help Scanny with a slipstream. He will move to the side, but there has now been a little bit of a gap there between Paquito, Charlie, and the rest. little breakaway forming here including the Italians and Charlie Fraser oh but they're actually fighting and Paquito is giving slipstream to Charlie who has provided excellent teamwork throughout the field so far Scanny stuck on the inside and has to drop behind Bradder surely oh just about as he sneaks in Yes, mate, it's now somehow dropped to seventh in all of that mess. Sig in ninth, Matko in ninth. Uh, sorry, Sig in eighth, Matko in ninth, and actually, Samios, who was involved in that incident, has retired.
as they cross the line. Most of them are on the outside line in single file, scanning, trying to go to the inside, but no one was pushing and no one had the slip stream to give to him. Oh, I think there's contact between Yes Mate and Scanny, and that's sent Rossing to the wall. Ross dropping down, and that is, and that might be his race over. I think he might finish in ninth. Surely he has lost the slipstream. Let's actually just catch a replay of that. Oh, you can just see. I think the contact with Yes Mate sent Scanny up high, and Ross had absolutely nowhere to go. Up front, it's been this group of three for quite a while now. And then we've got Brothers, and I think that's actually going to be Sig moving into fifth place. He's had a quiet race so far, but he was amongst the pack of Yesmate and Matco, and actually those three are actually working very well together here, as they have been working the entire race. And then we've got Scanny, who's now dropped to the back of the pack, uh, with Ross uh, way outside the pack, with no real chance of battling for the podium, or even the win now. But Matko and actually Yes Mate are actually fighting and that'll ruin Oh the big contact so they were fighting. Matko rejoins into Yes Mate it seems and now Scanny making it free wide and that's gonna create another breakaway. Look how much speed they have lost from that contact and from fighting out. There's no point fighting um, at situations where it may just lose your time. Because now they've got a lot of work to finish in the top five. Or they have to open for an incident in the last two laps with this top five group. Paquito, Snake, Charlie, Bradders and Sig Rezanico just about holding on in the healthcare car and the health insurance car. Snake, who has actually been pushing for quite a while, is now making his move on the penultimate lap. But it's not to be as he slots in line with Charlie Fraser, but there's not room for him to slot in line. That's the risk of making an overtake when you do not have the momentum. It means you cannot slot in line. He's trying to force Bradersby to let him have the position and he does make it. Meanwhile, the pack behind 6th, 7th and 8th have managed to hold on. And that's Bradders V going to the outside, pushing Charlie Fraser. And it's Sig who is now trying to push the Italian off Snake. And we are here, here now for the white flag as Charlie and Paquito push along each other. Bradders V now going to the inside, working with Sig Rosanico who falls out of line into turn one. And it's almost three wide as Bradders V has to go across. There's contact between Snake and Paquito. Bradders V now on behind Snake, Snake side by side with Paquito and Snake is going to take the lead, Snake taking the lead on the final lap and that might end up being the race winning overtake, Charlie now going to work with Paquito and that's, that is going to destroy Paquito who has now got no one to help him as we go on to the final lap, Yes Mate and Mako making a push on the outside, they will join as well with Charlie Fraser and Snake as we go towards the inside, Bradders V and Sig are there. And let's go towards the lead where Snake is cutting off on the outside. Paquito now moving to the inside. Yes, mate. On the inside, and it's going to be Snake, I think, who will take the win. And I don't know what's even happened after that. La so we had Paquito in second. Yes, mate in third. Charlie Fraser in fourth. Matko in fifth, who was on the outside, I think. Bradley in sixth. Scanny Flick in seventh. And Sig Rezaniku in 8th. Let's just catch a replay of some of that. So let's go on board from um, Scanniflit. You can see you've got Matko and Bradders V side by side. Bradders V going to the inside. They were separated surely by all oh, Charlie and Matko making contact. Which sent that into the wall. And let's get some other views. Let's get a view from the hood camera of Bradders V. So we did have Charlie Fraser and Matko in the wall, and you can see here that yes, make a fantastic run for second, but Paquito forcing him to the inside, making contact, which meant that Paquito ended up with the second place. Yes, mate, in third. Ross comes home in ninth. We hope you've enjoyed this race of the Race Sports Car Championship.